What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Last year, Kenny insisted that we needed a drone. Maybe it was even two years ago at this point. And who am I to argue because I do expect him to believe every time I tell him we need a new goat. Now, he's only flown that drone a handful of times. I'm talking four, five tops. I don't even think it's that many times because he's afraid of breaking it. Want to know where the drone is now? It's in a tree. the We've lived here for five and a half years and I have tried really hard to never have to use that ladder because me and Heights don't go together. But sometimes you just have to climb a tree or a ladder. Oh my goodness. Forget whatever I was going. What? There's more babies. You mean in your belly or somewhere else? That was a close call. I thought for sure we were gonna be pregnant. I ain't trying to have no more babies. You're not gonna believe this, guys. The chicken that I previously called Casey Anthony, you know, cause she sat on like 14 eggs and left them at day 18. Well, apparently she tried again and I had no idea, but she did it. They're right over here. Today I let Cadbury and her babies out of the little chicken tractor brooder thing because some of them were getting out so I figured all right let's let them all out to explore and have at it. I came to check on them and I kept counting them because I thought I heard chicks somewhere else but there were eight of them there and then all of a sudden I saw our white hen all puffed up like this. I think they got it, honey. You, you can you can stop with that. Well, I, I had to get across how puffy she was being, really oh, protecting her territory. That's incredibly weird looking. Then I saw these little tiny black heads popping up, little fuzzy heads, so cute. So, white hen, I guess we will have to change your name and I won't call you Casey Anthony anymore. What are we gonna name this hen now? Now she needs a name, she's a mama. And there are seven babies. Wait, who's famous, got pregnant, disappeared, and then showed up with kids? That's a good name, if I knew it. <laughs> I don't know anybody. Courtney knows every name there is. I don't know that that's happened to a famous person. I mean, there's that whole show, I didn't know I was pregnant, and then they go to the hospital and they're giving birth. Sure you didn't know you were pregnant. Because... Being pregnant is easy. To miss. It's easy to miss. I know, I know. Some people it is easy to miss. Mine were never easy to miss. Well, let's get this new mama situated. I guess as you can probably, whoa. There's a wasp nest over there, right where I set up the camera. Oh my goodness. Whoo, folks, this is turning out to be one hell of a day. I don't even know what this video is about anymore. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this and hopefully nothing else crazy happens. But, huh, if you remember our township issues from a while ago, we're not allowed to use any of the front yard over there. 
we may only use our side and our backyard, which is kind of convoluted, but also really, really stupid because we're surrounded by trees, whatever. Because of all that, we need to start expanding our fence line to the areas that we can actually use and start setting them up into quadrants so that way we can rotate our pastures and have healthy goats all the time. Oh, and chickens. The area behind me and in front of me is all going to be set up in our new pasture area. What I'm gonna do after today is kind of mark out all of the corners and all the areas. Where do we need to put a post? Where do we need to have gates? So that way we can get everything organized before we put up a fence. I mean, lately we've been building our fences as a matter of necessity and it's had to be done quick, but now it's time to be a bit more methodical. It's kind of why we set everything up in a little bit of a temporary fashion. I mean, it's in, it's rock solid, all the fencing can be disconnected from the T-posts, all the T-posts can be pulled out, and we can change pretty much how everything is set up. Some of our fencing does have posts that are cemented in. The good thing is, is that cement didn't really take, and I can pull those posts out, and if I can't get those wooden posts out, I'm just gonna cut them down and uh, call it a day with that. We've got quite a number of posts already. I've collected quite a few along the way, either from uh, places that were giving them away, or maybe we bought too many. Cause you know, I always buy too many. So we should be able to get everything in and make it pretty rock solid. What I'm looking for from all of you folks are some tips, things that we're probably not thinking of before we set everything up. What might I wanna make sure I have in there? What would be good things to look out for? Just whatever you got, throw them my way, throw them in the comments, give me some ideas. Cool? Okay, I'm gonna call it a day because honestly, I've had a little too much excitement for one day and I gotta put that ladder back. Thank you folks for tuning in. Happy Vlogist Day 10. See you on the next one. 11! I recounted, there are eight new chicks. Eight! Eight is the magic number. And we're about to get 25 more in the next uh, week or so. Whoo, you better finish that chicken tractor. Calm yourself. <laughs>